What does trigonometry actually mean? In Greek, this red part means triangle and the blue part means measure. Trigonometry is one of the most feared topics in mathematics, but in reality, it is extremely simple. The meaning itself is so simple. It's just the measure of all the things possible in a triangle. That's all. Let's consider a triangle ABC. Let A be the length of the side opposite angle A and similarly let B and C be the lengths of the sides opposite angles B and C respectively. Take a close look at the triangle. What all can we measure in this triangle? We can measure the angles, angle A, angle B and angle C or find the lengths of the sides which in this case are A, B and C. These are the only six things we deal with in trigonometry. Three sides and three angles. Out of these six, we are given a few and using trigonometry, we need to find the rest. It cannot be difficult. Actually, it gets a bit simpler as trigonometry generally deals with only one kind of triangle. A right angled triangle, which is also referred to as a right triangle. This right triangle is right angled at this vertex. The good news is that one angle is known and only two remain. This one and this one. Let this angle be theta. This is the triangle we will be dealing with to cover most of our trigonometry. A triangle with an angle theta and a right angle. It doesn't have to be called theta but that's what it is generally referred to as. But how do these kind of triangles help us in real life? How does trigonometry help us in real life? Let's say Zen wants to find the height of this tree. He has to measure this length which is the height. One way is to make an approximate guess. But a better way to find the height is by using trigonometry. Let's assume this distance is known to us. Remember, it's always easier to find the distance or the length on the ground than finding the distance vertically. And we can find the approximate measure of this angle which is theta. With just these two pieces of information, Zen can find the height of this tree. Finding the height of a tree may not sound appealing to you, but the next example surely will. This time, Zen wants to find the height of a mountain. If this distance is known and this angle is known, then the height can easily be found out. But how? That's precisely what we will try to understand in trigonometry.